This week's exciting session is on Manage your requirements in any methodology, agile, traditional, or hybrid. Our expert presenter today is Clara Shizmaru, Product Manager at Polarian. What is the percent of successful projects in your company? By successful, I mean a project that finishes on time, on budget, and with satisfactory results. According to the Standish Group, only 29% of overall projects are successful, 52 are challenge, and 90% are fail. But actually, when you look at the size of the project, you will find out there's a big difference. Small projects, indeed, are much more successful, 78%, and this is closer to the average reported by PMI, so they reported about 64%, and only 4% fail. But large projects, and by large I mean projects with more than $10 million, only 10% are successful and 38% are failed. So this is, this is huge. What is the cause of this? Well, PMI identified that the second main cause for, for project failures is a poor requirements management. How can we manage requirements better? Good evening, everybody. I'm Clara. It's nice to have you all here, and I'm trying to give you the answer to this question. Before we start, please allow me to tell you a few words about Polarion. Polarion software is a leading innovator in a web-based requirement management, quality assurance, and ALM solutions since our first product release in 2004. We serve companies of different sizes in a broad spectrum of industries. The unique differentiators include the fact that Polarion ALM is based on a single unified artifact repository orchestrated by powerful workflow engine and 100% web-based solution that enables to streamline collaboration, transparency, and release predictability as well as regulatory standards compliance. Before we start to talk, uh, to enter into the, the core of, of our presentation, I would like to look a little bit of what is a requirement. Let's see, we have a definition here of a software uh, requirement. It can be a condition or capability needed by a user to solve a problem or achieve an objective or a condition or capability that must be met or possessed by a system or system component to satisfy a contract, a standard specification, or other formally imposed document. The reason I am starting with this definition is because we talk today about managing requirements in any methodology. And you know that in Agile, people tend to think that we don't have requirements. Some of them even think, oh, we don't manage requirements. We have user stories, we define them when we need to implement it, we don't need to do that. But according to this definition, user stories are requirements. And regulators also agree that user stories are requirements. Let's start first with the definition between the uh, agile and traditional requirements. The first difference is about the time when they are written. The traditional requirements are usually written up front, so before the implementation is done. We have the full details of what the, the system should do, how it should be and how it should be implemented. Thank you for watching our webinar teaser. To view the full webinar, click on the link below in the video description. For other recorded webinars, visit polarian.com Click on the Events and Webinars tab and click on Recorded Webinars. Or take the next Polarian steps.